Welcome back to Harley Quinn. This is Season 2, Episode 4, Thawing Hearts. Last time was the Catwoman episode. Um, I guess Ivy is going to marry Kite Man? Which I don't, I don't know about that. Um, and we had like a little side plot. Ooh, oh, shit. Sorry. My desk is all messed up. I need to wipe it down. Anyways. Um... <laughs> Side plot with like the hench, not the henchman, but um, her crew and their sort of status as like lackeys, because um, they have been doing a lot of menial tasks, um, especially Psycho. Like he he had to do the what get like a water filter in that one episode, and then she's like, never mind, I don't need it. And then last episode he had to watch the Riddler, so like I feel like they're setting up a side plot there with that, um, but we'll see. Anyways, this one should be about Mr. Freeze based on the thumbnail, so I'm very excited to see that inter interpretation of that character. So let's just get into the episode and find out. I like their winter gear. It's cute. A human vagina! Oh, I see it now. Everyone always I... draws dicks. That's sexist. I'm trying to flip the script, bitches. So beautiful. Yes! Oh oh Dark times are changing. He could do better. Oh, I wedding. <laughs> he could do I better? So much fun I... weddings. Again, I gotta run myself. Alternate universe. This is this is straight up villain Harley who killed everyone. Oh my god, it's me, Oh my god, it's Lady Gaga. Harley. Look what I just got from my nemesis. Congrats on the engagement. Condiment King. Condiment King. Right? Yes, a dick. I. This is a real shampoo fact. I Jesus. My friend's a doctor and the smartest person I know. Wow, that's the nicest thing it's you've ever said about Ivy. me. Not you idiot, Ivy. Yeah, that makes sense. Look, <laughs> Ivy's a genius biochemist. For phobias I should be aware of? No. Oh, God. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Harley, look, I don't that's a weird transition. Plan, there really usually isn't like commercial breaks, so why do they have I that? Mean, Freeze will for sure kill us if she does. Can freeze his ass in a block of ice. Wow, Don't think that'll great work. plan. This is I, one of your best. I got one. They're all frozen. Though. How the hell are we supposed to find his wife when we're frozen to chairs? Good side. The reason I wanted to do this lunch oh, is Nora wow. hasn't hosted guests in quite some time. Why? So I thought this oh, would be fun for that's her. That's a tube her to her mouth. Blue perf gets his jollies by freezing women. Perfect, eager. Mm. But Fucking corn factory. I'm so tired. In my book, bro. I... Mitchell. What the hell are you doing? Here? <laughs> oh, didn't do. What, 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 what stain? There's no stain. Oh no. That one. <laughs> All right, kind of thing. <laughs> Becca, you tell it better than I do. Uh... Oh, she's being shy. <laughs> I'll tell it. Nora was the owner of a mom and pop cryogenics I... lab and having experienced true love. Oh, yeah, this is definitely tumor. I'll tell you about true love. <laughs> I'm so tired of these people. Bitch. True love made me sacrifice my career as a psychologist. When you give up on love was Can't Clayface just like crime of all. I'm also willing to bet you know, your reach first nearly cost like... us spinach puffs. The story was so Look, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like he can move. Not entirely. This is for ruining her small business. Now that you don't have your stupid gun, I'm gonna kill you. See? I told you she was fine, you kill us all. Well That's what you did when you had your hard win. Oh hi! I thought I smelled a kite. <laughs> oh, it was the I'm cover a... shot. <laughs> so disgusting. Do you think this place is just a wedding mill for Hollywood royalty? Oh no, of course not. Well, uh, you know, I've heard, I'm a husky guy. Uh, Babe, I'm so sorry. Harley's gotten herself into some serious trouble, and I have to go save her. I'm sorry. I love you, Evelyn. So you were about to enlighten me on your personal connection to corn? Uh... Oh my God. Why? Why is he? Why? 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 You tried to kill me! Everyone else wanted to kill you, but I convinced them to freeze you. As you can imagine, a group of white, cisgendered, heterosexual male crime lords, they love the idea of turning a woman into a helpless object of mockery. 
Oh. Well, I hope you're proud of yourself. Mm. You falsely accused the I most like... woke ice theme villain in all of New New Gotham. Uh... I was gonna say, I like that they're making Mr. Freeze a likable oh, villain. Oh, thank God. The things we do for love, right? <sighs> I wouldn't know. Just don't. <laughs> don't <tell it> <laughs> for Magenta. Right. Transfusion will kill you. Oh. <gasps> My condolences. Why the hell did you have to say the deaf part? I stopped loving you. Is it for real right now? Are they really gonna make me cry? Like, damn! This is my show to laugh at. I don't want to. I don't want to be feeling this. I'm feeling, feeling. I say, never seen truer love than that. Damn. Tartar for now. Closer. I think he's my nemesis now too. <laughs> wow, I, like I said, I am very surprised by the show. Um, you know, we've had touchy moments before, but like that one, just they straight up just like lingered in the in the moment. You know, they, yeah, you know, I, I think like in the in the heavy moments before in, in previous episodes, so like the season, it was the penultimate episode of season one, I believe, when Ivy dies. Um, they kind of they lingered on that one um, until the end of the episode, I believe. So, you know, it's happened every once in a while, but it just still it catches me off guard because usually I'm expecting a joke to to break the mood, to break the tension. But this one, they just they just said, no, nope, Freeze is dead. He's a cool good, cool cool good dude. Um, and kind of going off of that again, I I really like that they were. I like this depiction of Freeze because I think it falls in line with that. Um, you know, he's not necessarily a villain. He's just a guy trying to save his wife. And I know that actually now that I think, but I can't really think of any recent stories with him. I don't read Batman comics specifically, but still, I, I, I just don't really recall any recent stories where he shows up in any prominence. So I was gonna say maybe he's not even like technically a villain anymore. He's more just like a, a force to deal with in Gotham. Um, but yeah, I, I again, I just I thought it was a really unique depiction. I think just because of the ones that I the the, the portrayals that I've seen, obviously are the Arnold Schwarzenegger one, which you know we all know that one, the very camp. Um, Ice to meet you kind of uh, guy. Um, which, again, it, it's... And uh, oddly enough, I, he teamed up with Ivy in that one, too. And I was going to mention how I don't really think that there's stories where they team up because it makes sense, you know. Um, she is a, a biochemist, so, like, there has to be some overlap there where she can help out and try and derive some sort of formula some potion i don't know i'm saying these words uh, some sort of antidote for her disease um so i really like that they brought that here um and i'll be honest i haven't seen batman forever or was it batman and robin it, it's bad i'm losing my mind anyways i haven't seen that one in so long so i can't tell you if they actually did team up for that reason or if they were just teaming up i know bane there too so you know um <laughs> questionable depictions but there's that one and then obviously the one in Gotham is the other big portrayal that I can think of and that one was very much uh, there were so many other characters in the show that I don't think they had the time to really make him a prominent one um, obviously they did play into his wife um, but he was more just a henchman to be honest uh, just some muscle and I feel like they didn't really give him any time to shine so it was really nice in this episode where we did get the classic he's a bad guy because he's trying to save his wife and they were showing through his actions that he wasn't really even a bad guy he was just like he was a good bad guy <laughs> that makes sense you know he's he he's the one that helped or he you know he he's he's swayed the other villains from killing Harley and just keeping her captive um so yeah, uh, I again I'm, I'm sad that he's dead, but also I think it's uh, going to be a nice lasting impact for Harley. 
um, to show maybe, you know, people are not what they think, what they appear to be. Um, and I don't know. <laughs> I just, <laughs> completely unrelated. I just hope they don't kill off Bane. Like, <laughs> I hope they just they come to the realization. Oh, maybe we maybe we can get along with some of these villains and just talk with them and work things out. Um, but we'll see. Um, I, I, again, the, this whole episode was it, all of the problems were because of Harley, and I'm kind of it wasn't as big of a deal this episode, but I am gonna bring it up again that you know it, it's. I'm kind of upset that she's not growing and maturing as a character. Um, and she's falling for the same things, you know, and, and creating her own problems, I guess. Um, you know, if she hadn't, for one, tried to attack Freeze, but also if she didn't, like, get into this obsession with free, unfreezing Nora, um, everything would have been fine. Like, they, they could have just honestly done what she had told Freeze to she was going to do in the first place call ivy get a cure and everything would have been fine like <laughs> but now freeze is dead nora hates them so um we'll see if she comes back like a mrs freeze or something you know we'll see if we'll if they were going to play into that at all or if it's just kind of like you know now i think about like the octopus monster um cyborg man's sister if she's going to come back, I don't, we haven't seen her come back yet. So maybe it's just one of those things like, I think it's going to happen, but it's just like, a, well, you know, that's there. <laughs> um, but yeah, again, another character technically lasted for two episodes, but like we defeat this villain in one episode. So um, again, I think we have like nine, eight more episodes left of this season. So I'm curious to see if we only have, um, who do we have? Bane and Two-Face left. You know, Riddler's still there, but Bane and Two-Face are the only uh, gang leaders left. So, like, are we going to deal with them in one episode also? How's that going to work out? Um, but, yeah. The show continues to surprise me. Very excited. Um, also, Happy New Year. I Again, I <laughs> what do days mean anymore? Um, hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. And I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.